Hi everyone, um, so I'm really excited to finally go through all the stuff that I want to put in my Canadian Rockies album. Um, so this is going to be a big album, so that's why I split it into two. So I've got two of these 12 by 12 ring binders that I'm going to use um, for this trip. And I'm going to try and find a good way to split all this stuff. Um, I believe there to be eight days in here. Um, so, I mean, we were pretty much in Banff the first, second, third and fourth day. It looks like the fifth day we were uh, driving up to Jasper and that's a really chunky pocket there because there's a lot of photos in there. So I might actually do five, six, seven and eight. Yeah, that makes sense. So I can split it sort of there really. Um, and that will hopefully be two equal-ish sort of albums of our time in the Rockies. Um, so yeah, so I've done a video of this anyway, so I don't need to go through all this, but this is all the photos and everything that we collected um, on our trip. Um, it's a lot, and as I said before, you do gain a lot of things on these sort of trips because you're doing your driving, so you pick up maps and um, you stay at loads of different hotels and you get leaflets and booklets and yeah, all sorts. So um, yeah, there's loads of stuff. So hopefully this all goes into these two albums. Um, so yeah, these are just 12 by 12 ones from Hobbycraft. These rings look slightly bigger, but no, I'm comparing them to my other ones and they're definitely not as big as they were. So um, yeah, hopefully they survive um, these two trips. So those are those. So the colours that I'm sort of going for in this album, these two albums, is um, browns, blues and greens. Uh, predominantly um, not too much blue I'm trying not to stick with blue really I'm trying to go more green and brown um, but there is some blue in some of the tones that I have in the papers but the main paper pad that I wanted to use was this one which is the nature from make and create there's only 24 sheets in here so I knew I was going to need more so that's why I pulled out a few other ones um, but I really try to use what I've got rather than ordering something else um, there was a paper pack that I really liked I think it was from 49 and market but um, I just thought to myself, I've got so much stuff, like, I just need to use that stuff. So um, I'm going to really try and use um, what I've got. So I've got this 12 by 12 one. Then I have a few papers left over from previous um, projects and stuff. So this is the Wild, wild Winter. There's only two sheets in here. So just this brown one with the little huts and then obviously this little tree one, which I love. Um, so I've only got two papers there but then I do have these ones as well and the last time I used this I think was um my California road trip so this paper pad's since been sat there and I think these were the last two papers that I had so I will be using both of those but that's all the 12 by 12 paper I have and I don't know if that's too ambitious but obviously I'm going to try and cut things up because I've got so many photos and things I can get away with not using a sheet per page um, I'm going to try and cut them up a little bit but I do have some other paper pads um, I have these cute little 10 by 10 centimeter ones and this is like a mini version of this one which I think is really cute so I'll be able to fill in some little gaps with these um, I've used this one the most um, but I do actually have um, a few more of these uh, this one's called inspiring nature so again lots of browns and um, greens that I can use um, so yeah, hopefully I get to use some of these up because I've had these for quite a while. Um, but there's one other paper pad somewhere under all this stuff that came from Echo Park, which was on offer. And I bought it um, because I thought it was cute and it was on sale. It wasn't £6.15. It was on sale and it's the, sorry, it's the Cartabella and it's a Gone Camping one. Um, and I just thought it was quite nice just for little adding extras really. Um, so I should be able to use those in this album as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to using that one. That's been in my stash for a while. And so I bought it because it was on sale and I thought I'll be able to use that at some point. Um, so I got that as well. So there's all the paper that I have. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we're going to try. We're going to try on that one. So the washi tape that I'm planning on using, this is the only thing that I don't know whether I'm going to split the albums with. Uh, it depends on how much I go through. So if I go through loads, then this will be my Banff collection. So this is like a light green, um, just standard light green from Paper Chase, but it's super thick, so I can use lots of that. And then this map one that I think again is from Paper Chase, um, if it's going to, there we go. It's just a really nice colour, um, browns and 
greens on there and then just this um it's a very thin compass one um it's just obviously brown so i thought that was quite nice um to go with it so yeah so that's um if i use all that that will be for the bump side of things and then if i need some more washi tape and i decide to change um, I will go for this for my jasper side of things. So this is like a darker green because I've got a darker map here. Uh, again, these are both from Paper Chase um, that I've had for quite a while. So it's like a darker map one. So I can use that. Um, and then I have this wood one, which literally is pieces of wood, which is a bit different. Um, I think this is from Craft Sensations. I don't know where the end is. Um, and um, yeah, it'd be nice to use that as well. So... Yeah, so those are the washi tapes. So we'll see if I use all of them or just some of them. Um, but at least I've got them out just in case. So those are those. Now, uh, sticker-wise, um, I pulled out quite a lot of my collections that, uh, from American side of things because they have some really good um, camping collections. Now, two of these are obviously from my previous album, which was my Vancouver one. So there's just some stickers left on this. So let's go anywhere. Um, I just I should be able to use these, really. I know they're red, but um, I might be able to use them just a little bit, just to use them up. Um, and then the other one is the O Canada one from um, Photo Play. Again, not too many things I can use in here because it's quite wintry. We didn't actually go in the winter, but it did snow, so I can probably get away with using some of these. Um, on there as well but the main ones I picked out were um, this collection which is the outdoor adventure collection from Carter Bello it's from 2021 and I just loved it I loved all like the national parks and um, all the animals and stuff like that on there so yeah I just thought it was really nice um, to use that and then obviously I picked out all the cut parts that went with it um, they're all in here so yeah mixture of all sorts really um there's a lot of campers though i don't know if i'll use those i probably can get away with it because we saw, we saw so many camper vans whilst we we're there but we didn't actually use one so i don't know if i can but they just got some really nice cards and stuff obviously i don't think i'm gonna be able to use the ones with the like actual national parks from america i don't think i can use those because i want to use those when we do go to america so i'll be keeping some of them away um so i can use them for when they're actually supposed to be used for um but um like that one i've already been to yosemite so i might actually put that in there where i can um but most of them are just normal camping ones as well so i'll be able to use those ones so yeah there's quite a few things in there that i can use up um but there were some other collections that i had just to cut apart this one matches the paper pad which is very exciting so i'll be using these so these are just some six by fours that I can use. Um, they are the larger versions um, as in the paper pad. So I picked those out to try and use those up. Um, and then there was these ones. This is the Great Outdoors collection, I think, from Simple Stories. Um, I think I have these left over. I'll have to check. I don't want to use ones that are with the new collection, but I'm sure these are the older ones. Um, I use a lot of it in my Scotland album, but not too many um three by fours or anything so i'll just triple check because as i said i don't want to i know that they've released another one that's quite similar so i don't want to you know use these up if they are new um but i don't think they are i think they came from the older versions but i've used up the um sticker sheet and everything i just had the cut parts left over so i thought it'd be nice to use those up um so i do have some journaling little bits i have this massive um like journal what are they called revision cards but they have a brown one here so i wanted to use those up and um, i can obviously write a little bit um, on those and i use them i find them really easy to use as journaling cards so i'm going to use those they came from wilco's um once upon a time when they were here um and then i do also have these little travel tag ones that i think i got from poundland or something um i'm going to use the the green one up here um that those, that writing is literally just on the on the front of the thing um but yeah it's just sort of has that must see and stuff on there so i thought that was quite cute um so i'm going to use those again to journal on and write sort of titles of things on there um these are just some brown cards and um, i just had these and i thought well i did want some brown paper to go um, behind stuff so i'm going to use this brown card just again to get it out of my stash 
and obviously brown goes with everything on there as well so um again just trying to use up bits and pieces as i go along um sticker wise lots and lots of stickers um i have these jolie's boutique ones that i love um, I had those for a while, so I probably used those when we went to like Lake Louise and Moraine Lake and stuff. So I have those. This little um, farmland sticker um, I wanted to use because it's got the cutest little bears and stuff in there. So um, I thought I'd be able to use up some of those. Not obviously at like the farm ones, but um, some of the first sheet I'll probably be able to use up on that. That was just from Hobbycraft. Another Jolie's Boutique sticker, just this wilderness adventure which I thought was quite nice, very fit into Canada. Um, I wanted to use this Lost and Found collection from Rosie's Studio. So I have quite a few bits and pieces here. So um, this is the four sheets um, from, yeah, Lost and Found Rosie's Studio. So there's four sheets in there with all those little stickers on there, which is really nice. Then I have the cut apart, nope, sorry, the die cuts, die cuts. Um, there's 180 pieces there. So all of those, so they're cute to add into little bits. So they're a really nice size as well. And then I do have the word stickers, the puffy stickers on there. So I thought that was nice to use up. So yeah, lots of stickers. And then I do also have some Banff um, actual stickers that came from Recollections. I bought those when I was in Canada. Um, so I thought they would be good to use, obviously, for Banff. Um, I have some little road stickers, again, because it was a road trip. I'll be able to use some of those i thought and then i do have this one from karen foster design i'm like, I think i must have got these from ebay um but again they just remind me of national parks and everything like that so i thought they were quite good then the last thing i have is just one of these little booklets and i wanted to use um the let me find it there is yeah these little brown stickers it just says like don't forget to do done yes all that sort of stuff notes remember you know so i just thought they were quite cute and they're nice little brown ones that obviously go with the theme so i'm going to use those um i did put out these alphas i have no idea whether i can actually use these or not i've got hardly anything left um but i don't know we might be able to do something with them just because they're sat in my stash and i love them and i love the colors and but they're just find it difficult to use now there's not much left of them at all um so we'll see we'll see what i can do with those but i did pull out these wooden um letters as well so i'll be able to do some titles and stuff there's plenty of alphas and vowels and everything in there so um i should be able to make some words and i do actually have some numbers as well they're very chunky though i don't know how much i'm going to use of those because they're very chunky but um i just thought if i do need some numbers at least i've got some then I've got some gems, which are nice, just little gold sort of gems, just to add a little bit of um, shininess to the album. And I've used quite a few of those. Um, then I have these little felt deers, which are really cute. They came from a Dovecraft collection. Um, I just thought they were really nice. I do actually have quite a few different ones, but I just thought I'd get these four out. Because um, I said I don't want to make it too chunky. Um, I've already got some bits and pieces to add in, so... Yeah, I thought they were different. And again, getting things out of my stash. I have these little paper clips. I've got quite a lot of stuff to paper clip down. So I just thought these were quite cool. I love the geotags. I'm going for a sort of a geotag sort of theme. I've got my little paper punch here as well that I'm going to use to um, punch out some little geotags on maps and stuff. Um, and I do actually have, I don't know if I've dropped them all on the floor. I do actually have some little geotag um, wood veneers as well. I've only got five of them, um, but they're really cute. So these, again, just using bits up, little geotags. They're quite big, though, them ones, so I use them on the major maps and stuff. And then I do have these little bears, which are really cute. They've got little scarves on, so I thought I'd be able to use those for when we saw the bears and things in Banff. Well, actually, in Jasper, we saw them. Um, so, yeah, I thought they were cute. I've had those for a while. They came from Hobbycraft in like a Christmas collection once upon a time. Then I do have these little Nouveau drops. These are quite new. I wanted some brown ones. Um, don't even know, oh, chocolate chip, that's the name of it, but they're really nice. It's a nice sort of brown, not too sort of dark. Um, but yeah, looking forward to using that one. And then the last things, I did pull out my stamps from Craft Sensations and it's really nice because it's got these little bears on there. So if I do actually 
um, stamp, I'll stamp on some like white paper or um, brown paper and, you know, do that sort of thing. I've used a squirrel before, but I've never used the bear, so, or well, the deer, so I should be able to use some bits and pieces on there. And I did pull out my stays inks, um, stays on inks even, uh, timber brown and olive green. So yeah, so that is everything that I'm going to be using. It's quite a lot, but as I said, it's quite a big album. So we'll see how much stuff I actually get through. Um, it'd be nice to use up some bits and pieces that I've had um, for a while, but I don't picture myself using everything, but I will try and use everything that I possibly can, um, you know, to get through my stash, basically. So I hope you enjoyed, and um, hopefully this, one of the albums will be done shortly. I'll do them, you know, once I finish one of them, I'll upload that and then carry on with the second one. So um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed and I'll be back soon. Bye.